In this video, I'm going to be showing you a Merkle tree whitelist system using Firebase. Before we get started, let me show you a demo. Here I click mint and it says I am on the whitelist because I have this address right here and this matches up with the whitelist addresses in the Firebase backend. Let's now change this last character. And now it says that we are not on the whitelist because that address is not on the whitelist address array. Here's an overview of the entire system. User is going to click the mints button. This is going to trigger a function called Firebase Merkle. We pass in the wallet address. We create a Merkle tree, calculate the Merkle proof, and then we return that proof to the front end. We check if it's verified. If it is, we call a smart contract. Whitelist mints and pass in the Merkle proof. Then we call Merkleproof.verify with the proof, the root, and the leaf. If this is all successful, we're going to display a success message back to the front end right here. All of the code will be provided in the GitHub. All right, let's open up the backend Firebase function. Here we have the libraries we're using. We're using Merkle Tree JS and Keck 256. We have a Firebase function called Firebase Merkle, which takes in data as one of the parameters. We get the Ethereum address from the data parameter up here. We have this array of whitelist addresses. We then create the Merkle tree using the Merkle tree library. We're going to calculate the Merkle proof and then return us back to the front end. The most important variable here is verify proof, which is going to get passed to the front end and then to the Solidity contract. We're using Firebase because we get access to Firebase functions and also this amazing logging system. Let's now take a look at the front end. Here we have a function called mint pressed. We're going to call Firebase Merkle with the wallet address. And then we're going to get back a result, whether it was verified or not. If the user is on the whitelist, we're going to call the mint function, passing in the Merkle proof, which is later going to get passed into the Solidity uh, whitelist mint function. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the Solidity file. Here we have a function called whitelist mint, which takes in the mint amount and Merkle proof. We have a couple of require statements to verify that everything is all good. And then we verify the Merkle proof using the provided proof. If this is successful, then we call the safe mint function. If you need any work, please contact me on LinkedIn, Discord, or Twitter.